Why does my guinea pig hate being picked up? Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. In this video, we're gonna talk about three easy ways to pick up your guinea pig and a little bit about why it might be hard for you to pick them up. If you're new to the channel, I'm Scott. I'm a volunteer at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. I've been volunteering there for a number of years. And in that time, I've seen a lot and the director Saskia has taught me a whole lot about how to take care of guinea pigs and how to interact with them. So here's Nate. Nate really does not like being picked up, but he doesn't mind being held. And so that's one of the things that you want to differentiate, okay? Guinea pigs, they don't like being chased with your hands and they don't like being grabbed but when you're holding them securely, especially if you have treats, they're gonna really enjoy spending time with you. Saskia just came out with a video yesterday about how to pick up and hold your guinea pig. And so obviously it's something that we get quite a lot. And I thought I would put my two cents into the mix and show you guys my three favorite techniques. Remember, guinea pigs don't mind being held, they just don't like when you chase them with your hands and when you grab them, okay? So you wanna get them to the point where they're being held securely and safely and that they feel comfortable. And then you're gonna really find that they warm up. Right, Mr. Nate? So let's talk about three easy ways to pick up your guinea pig. The first way would be with treats. Instead of chasing your guinea pigs, get them to come to you, get them to be eager and get them reaching up, anticipating treats. If they're reaching up and anticipating treats and sometimes when you give them the treats, you pick them up, they'll be more used to being picked up and held. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Here, yep up. Here, have, have a piece. Here, have a tasty piece. Gary, can I pick you up? Up up. Good job. Oh, yes. Here, have a treat. And the more you do this, the more they will come to you and the more they'll be used to it. And there was no fear. There was no running away. He was surprised that I was going to actually pick him up. But does he care? No, he's happy. Are you happy, Gare Bear? Come here, Pippi. Pippi up, up. Come here, Pippi, up, up. Up. Ooh, did you see that? He didn't even flinch. Oh, my Pippi. <laughs> Just take a bite and share it and have it with me. Can I have some, too? I think I got hair in mine. Even little Nate, who's super shy. Nate, up, up. Can I pick you up, little man? Can I start with scratching you? Nate is very timid. This is gonna take a little bit longer with Nate. Nate, up, up. Let me scratch your nose. Come here, Nate, up, up. But then I swoop in underneath him. Look, I got him. Here you go, Nate. These boys behind me are going crazy waiting for treats. You're about ready for a nail clippy. Look at these little crazy nails. Now you could see that the piggies come right over to me when they know that I'm bringing them treats. How can they be afraid of me if they're eagerly anticipating my arrival with the treats? Right, Nate? Okay, here's the second way. And actually, it's right here. This, this is a special cuddle sack that has a strap. But whether it's a cuddle cup, a cuddle sack, a towel, or some kind of piece of fleece, encouraging them to come up and scooping them up with some kind of a, a fleece like this really makes them feel comfortable. So let's take a look at that. So if you can just get your piggy to walk into a cuddle sack, then you can just pick them up. You didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> okay, let's try it with Billy. Hey Billy, you're going in the tunnel. Go on. Great, I got him. I got him. Hi, Billy. You feel safe in there? <laughs> yeah. You want a carrot? I know you do. 
Okay, you could see that they can just walk right into the fleece, into the fleece tunnel, and then you just pick them up. And again, if you offer them a little bit of a treat, then they'll be happy to stay. Here's just a side note. You can't really expect your guinea pigs to hang out with you for many hours on end without needing a pee break. Um, I usually think 15 minutes is about right. Are you hiding now? In your little cuddle sack? Don't be shy. I think 15 minutes and then you put them back to pee and you can go pick up your other pig. So now let's talk about the third method. The third method is a little bit more interactive where you're going to actually just reach down and pick them up. You're not going to scoop them up with any kind of a towel. You're not going to bribe them with any lettuce. You're just going to reach down and pick them up. Now, in an emergency situation or in a situation where you just need to check them out for some reason, you just want to scoop them up and pick them up without having to bother with treats or a cuddle sack, this is how you do it. This third way may be the most difficult, but we'll try with Pipsqueak. It's just like you come in and you scoop from both sides very confidently and you just pick them up. And as soon as you pick them up, you get them close to your chest. Let's try it again. You know, it doesn't matter if you come in like this or if you come in from the front or the back, but you're scooping like one of those big heavy machineries. You're scooping, scoop and grab. Okay, so let's try this with Piggy Smalls. He doesn't like being picked up. And I just come in, do do, and I just see how he's see how he runs away. So I just want to go in the front and in the back and pick him up and then pull him towards me. Let's try one more time, Piggy Smalls. Okay, Piggy, you ready? Just grab him, and once you have him, you want to hold him securely and give them some treats. And remember that 15 minute rule. Okay, did you see how I just confidently scoop them up, sweep them up, and then bring them to a place where I'm holding them safely and securely? Now here's a bonus. When you're putting them back, you don't wanna just put them back because of course they're gonna jump down because they love being in their little uh, environment. When you put them back, I like to uh, cover their face like this so as I put them back they're not jumping out I kind of create like a little muzzle like this and then when their feet are on the floor then I will let go so let's take a look at that I cover cover his nose and then let him go so this is Saskia's technique she waits and then when they're calm she releases them but in this demonstration we're just, this is just simply how to put them down without them jumping out. Now, if you go like this, see they wanna squirm and jump out. But if I cover his nose like this, then he can't move forward until I let him loose. I'm gonna put a link to the taming playlist. And there's a lot of really good tips and techniques and ways that you can set up your guinea pig cage to further encourage them to become tame and to come out of their shell. You like your shell. It's made of fleece. So I'm gonna put a link to that taming playlist right here. And I really encourage you guys to check it out and to take those suggestions to heart. All this stuff takes time, but before you know it, you're gonna have pigs that are excited to see you, love being held, and love using you for your ability to serve them vegetables.